The Illinois Comptroller's race has not been one of the more dramatic campaigns in this election cycle. Incumbent Republican Judy Bartopinka has dominated every poll so far in her bid for a second term. In an October 8th Reboot Illinois We Ask America poll, 52% of respondents said they would vote for Topinka over her Democratic opponent, Lieutenant Governor Sheila Simon, for whom 34% said they would vote. Topinka's high levels of support may have something to do with her long-touted commitment to transparency in state finances. She created The Ledger, a webpage where Illinoisans can go to find out where their tax money is being spent at the state and local levels. Her spokesperson Brad Hahn said, People know she's a straight shooter. But the lieutenant governor has also expressed her desire to be an ethical leader if she were elected comptroller, and raised some questions about Topinka and her staff and, and their jobs outside the comptroller's office. According to the Chicago Tribune, Simon criticized Topinka for acting as the once president of a federally funded nonprofit organization called Smart Women, Smart Money. The organization paid the comptroller's chief of staff and the assistant comptroller more than $50,000 a year for working part time. That is on top of their state funded salaries. Contrast my ethical standards stand in sharp contrast to uh, uh, my opponent and her. Uh, job scheme, for lack of a better word, the not-for-profit that she runs. I want to be the watchdog for the state of Illinois and not for friends and family. At the State Journal Register on October 7th, Topinka maintained that her staff had done nothing wrong because they were open about the money they made with the nonprofit. Everything, again, in the issue of transparency, they've, they've reported absolutely everything that they've done. The reason Topinka pointed out that Simon and a third of her staff also get income from outside their Illinois state government jobs, but said her office had the ethical upper hand. In, in the question of transparency, we tell you what we're doing. Hers is just there as consulting. We don't know who she consults with. We don't know why she consults or how much she makes or any of that. That's Even though that income wasn't reported on official election forms, Simon said her finances could be found elsewhere. Uh, if people can look at my documents, which they can, they're all on my uh, Lieutenant Governor website, we post them every year, uh, and see that I am, that I don't have a conflict and that I am pursuing this not for personal gain but for uh, public service, I think it helps us to have those hard conversations that we need to have as a state. Voters will have to decide which candidate they think is transparent enough to trust her to be transparent with the state's money.